got time to go to war, but you want to know. Yeah. So, yeah, the general has short-term memory loss. Like Dory. Um... So, yeah. The war. World 6. Yeah, it's pretty... It's relatively peaceful here, but that's gonna change. Depth perception. Uh, we need to get the electric eel to swim through. Ow, damn it, these hoops. Or at least past the hoops. Or against the hoops, but that doesn't work. Wow, that is really bad. I don't even know the term, but okay, it worked there. Plum ignores us. Oh, okay, that one wasn't even attached to a cord. Okay, I don't see why you just stopped following us. And actually, he has to die afterward.
Oh yeah, we can fire bombs from our slingshot now. That's pretty neat. And yeah, speaking of Zelda, because you know, bomb it is. Uh, we can push blocks now. We gotta push this block here. Logo, except he's dead now. <laughs> Not really. We're looking toilet seat. So we gotta push this guy too. So yeah, we need that block to block him. Otherwise, he'll slip in the water. It's kind of nice to see these uh, bouncing block guys again. I haven't seen them since the first world. Speaking of which, I don't want to take that yet. I probably had time to go through that. Okay, I just didn't know how fast it was. I'm gonna look at least Okay, we'll wait, wait for him to pass. There we go. Conqueror's evil smile. Curious what happens if we get on this. We actually get to ride up here. Whoa! Okay. Doesn't let you ride up there all the way. Whatever. Oh yeah, bad news. This is um this little underwater area is the last time we get to use underwater mechanics. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Goodbye. It's all for the greater good. I like music for this world. much soulless clones. 
a sad fate for them. I think this area is a bit different. Yeah, we got landmines. Oh, yeah. They're just gonna respawn so they can't even clear all of them out. Ow. Oh. So you don't want to really get close to them either. But we don't get the cutscene again. Although I could run ahead to see where they're positioned. That's a strategy. Okay, so that area, we're going to have a corner one. There's one there. So there's seemingly none in this zone. There's gonna be one on the left, yeah. Yeah, they're uncomfortably close. Oh, but I think we're at the end, actually. That's nice. Yeah. That's what it says. 
So that's the strategy. Just run ahead and memorize where they are. I want to swim there. Cause I'm gonna miss swimming in this game. Well, this game didn't really have beautiful underwater levels, but you know, the water is still pretty nonetheless. Now the real world will begin. Yeah, just uh, check it out. It's that uh, little fortress we've been seeing in the background. Yep, this is that kind of world. That's how you get drafted. <laughs> These are the guys that were um, in the uh, main menu. You hit me on the head. I think they're Conqueror's <laughs> friends. Where am I? Just little squirrels. What's this doing on my head? Yeah, speaking of the beginning of the game, remember that war that was foreshadowed? Well, we're about to find out. Okay, thirty seconds. Nice knowing you guys. All for dramatic effect. Having to see the other worlds in the background. Oh, it's really a sad sight, given where we are now. See the windmill. It's all the beehive. Blockades. And what's neat little neat little effect is um the camera gets hit and it cracks. I'm gonna need a lot of help in this world. Where's the rest of them? This is it. I think. Yeah, I'm the only one. Uh, not enough. Not enough. What, what, what's going on here? Teddy's everywhere. This is the last assault. It's 
not looking good. Teddies. I hate these guys. Get your head down! This is crazy! We've been locked down here for the last ten hours! Murderhole's up there! Your power context sensitive. Okay, hold ya. Move it out. The triple guns. Yeah, in this level we will have to be relying on the inverted controls because, you know, it sucks like that. Things are way more terrifying than the zombie. They are teddies. And they're everywhere. 